We've just completed the sign-in page, so now we'll sign in and we'll take us to a screen that will allow you to create a new talent agency application or renew a submitted, previously submitted and issued application or edit an application that has been started but not completed. So we took the liberty of populating an application so that we could go through the fields, through the screens, excuse me, a little more quickly. And so uh, for John Doe, we will just click the edit button and it will take us to the screens for the talent agency license application. Okay, this is the application screen. Again, the red asterisk is a required field. You will not be able to move beyond this page without populating all of the required fields. As we go to the bottom of the page, we have the option to enter any branch locations, which are additional locations to the main office, or any fictitious business name, or DBA. If you choose to add either a location or a DBA, you go to the bottom left and you click on the Add button, and it gives you the opportunity to enter the information for either. If you've completed the process for this page, you would click Save and Next. If you do not complete the process and you need to pause and return later, you would click Save and Close, which will leave the information on the page until you resume your application process. You must continue to save and save and save because if the page is vacant without use for more than 20 minutes, you will lose all of the information that you've entered. If you move to the next page without saving, you will lose all the information that you've, that you've entered. So it's really important to save. So now we're on the legal entity page and uh, as you can see again, red asterisks are required. This is a corporation. We've entered the corporate ID, the corporate name, date it was formed, state, and so on. We move to the bottom of the page. Every talent agency license requires two references for each owner and these are the fields for the links for the fields where you would enter the information of the individual who has agreed to be a reference. The link on the left is to add an individual. This is the field you would populate. It requires the upload of a driver's license and all of the additional information. You can also add non-owner management. This is someone other than the owner who is managing the business. If you clicked on add non-owner management, the screen would come up and allow you to enter their information as well. This is the questionnaire screen read and answer each question. Any yes answer requires an explanation in the box below the question. All questions must be answered. For new applications, you'll be required to upload a copy of your contract. You can upload non-exclusive contract or exclusive or both. You must provide a contract. We'll go ahead and demonstrate an upload. Browse. Choose your document. Upload. When the upload is successful, it will change the, the appearance of the link. There will be a red X when it's been done successfully. Same thing applies to the schedule of fees, first time only. You'll upload your schedule of fees. Upload. And again, this was a successful upload because of the difference in the appearance of the link. The bottom, same, you will be uploading your bond form and entering the information for the insurance company and the effective date. This is the premise certification screen. It also includes links for the relevant statutes 
containing the labor code provisions for talent agency licensing and all the Division of Labor Standards Enforcement offices in the state of California. Premise certification is required again for the first time only. We certify at the bottom that statements are true and correct and you move to the next screen. This is the submit and pay explanation. Click the button for submit and pay to choose your option. Credit card payments are free of charge. There's no user fee to enter credit card information. Uh, if you choose to pay by a debit card or electronic funds transfer, there is a fee and it will delay the issue of the license until the funds can be verified. This is not the case with the credit. The credit card goes through immediately and there's no delay, so we encourage you to use credit if it's possible for you. By clicking the school box, you agree to the terms and it is not refundable. We're going to go ahead and pay by credit. Enter the card type. Continue. Enter the required information. This would be the shipping or mailing address. In this particular case, we will not be shipping anything, so we're going to leave this screen blank. Card number. You have successfully submitted your talent agency license application. This will forward your application to talent agency licensing where it will be retrieved and reviewed and checked for accuracy and completion. If it is complete, you will be sent an email containing a Word document that you can download as many copies of your license as you wish. If there is something missing or that needs to be corrected, you will be again notified by email which will also contain a Word document showing the defect letter, which is just a notice of incomplete application giving you the directions as to what needs to be submitted or corrected. When those items are received, you will be issued again through email a Word document containing your license. Thank you. This concludes the tutorial for the new Talent Agency online application system. If you have any questions that were not answered in this tutorial, you can call Talent Agency Licensing at 415-703-4846.